will stick with what God has given us. I believe we're just going to somewhat deal with the anointing. Yes, sir. Uh, dealing with the anointing of God. Amen? Uh, I have looked and I and that thing just gets real hard when we look at it. It lets us know that gifts and callings are without repentance. In other words, everybody's gifted. Everybody got some type of call on their life. But the thing is, is that some are comfortable operating in their gifting. They're comfortable running in their calling. And even when they're not living a dime's worth of salvation. Uh, so we have to make sure that our lives line up with our message. Amen? That we live the life we preach about. That we practice what it is that we preach. Amen? Amen. Because the gifts and callings of God are without repentance. And I look at a lot of times when you deal with giftings and callings, you will find that there are a lot of people that act upon emotions. Lord, help me today. Now, when you deal even with that word emotions, emotions is a specific feeling. Whether it be love, hate, whether it be this or that. But for the most part, emotions are simply just a feeling. Yeah. And we have to understand that we don't act upon what we feel. Because sometimes you might not feel good. Sometimes you might feel like you can pick up the Empire State Building. Sometimes you feel like the load is too heavy to carry. And sometimes you feel like you can carry every load that comes your way. Sometimes you feel like you can and sometimes you feel like you can't. Sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. I don't hear nobody. But the thing we have to understand is that it's not about how we feel. Glory to the Lamb of God. Because if we act it upon what we feel, Lord help me today. I can't talk about me all. I don't need to talk about me. If I acted upon what I feel sometimes, Lord help me. Dealing with some of you, dealing with some of my children, dealing with some of these people in this world, dealing with this and dealing with that, dealing with all these issues and problems and this and that. If I acted upon what I felt, Lord, there's no telling what I would do sometimes. I might would catch a bus and say, take me wherever you can go. <laughs> and I only want a one-way ticket because I'm not coming back. If I acted upon what I felt. Glory to God. But when you take that E off of emotions, you have left just motions. Come on, somebody. Now, motions is different from emotion. When you deal with motion, it is something that is moving. Come on, somebody. You're moving in some type of direction. And I don't care what it is, moving is better than standing still. Oh, come on, somebody. Either you're going forward or backward, but you've got to be moving somewhere. Glory to the Lamb of God. Now, it's better to have motions than it is emotions. Because the Bible tells us, amen, what man do you know that can grow at all just by taking thought? Come on, somebody. 
If we're taking thought about this and thought about that, worrying about this, worrying about that, it cannot help us at all. Yes, My mother used to sing a song when I was a young boy, and that song said, crying will not help you any. Said, but what you have to do is do something. Come on, somebody. Crying won't help you none, but you got to do something. You have to do something instead of complaining. Oh, Lord, help me today. Lord, if you look at the church today, it looks like we just can't catch the messages. When I tell you God has given us some messages, that should take us to the moon and back. He's given us words from heaven, amen, that no one in here should be without faith. He's given us something that, oh my God, we should be able to speak healing. Oh, y'all don't hear me. He's given us something that uh, we should be able to receive what God has for us. But we allow things to get in our way. Yes. Oh my God, somebody shout emotions. We allow our feelings and our thoughts and different types of things to get in our way. And then we are just, amen, acting upon our emotions. Whatever we feel at the moment, that is what we're doing. We might feel like shouting at the time, so we're going to dance. And after we get through dancing, come on somebody, the problem is still there. So we go right back to the problem and act the same way we did before we shout. And that's a problem. That's a problem. Yes, it is. It's a problem. Yes, it is. Because we're acting upon our emotions. Yes, Lord, help me today. Amen. Gifts and callings are without repentance. Word. Some folks that act upon their emotions, they'll get excited for a minute, get happy, and do this and do that. Now they say, I am an evangelist. No, 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 no. I got a word in my belly. I got to preach the gospel. I don't hear nobody. Preach. Hallelujah. One of them got so excited because of the emotional. Oh, I heard you right there. You better cut it out. Hallelujah. One got so excited because of emotion that they went and wrote evangelists on the top of their house. I don't hear nobody. And when they got through writing evangelists on their house, oh, Lord, help me now. That some people can't get put up because you're not ready for ministry. Because you're acting upon your emotions. Lord, help me today. Lord, help me today. I, I understand that you have a call on your life. I understand that you're supposed to be called to preach. But answer me this. When you start pastoring, what are you going to do then? Uh -oh. oh, y'all ain't going to like this message. Have your way, Lord. Sing your word. I mean, y'all don't want to hear this. Some of y'all didn't even want to come to church because y'all scared I was going to say this right here. Lord, help me today. But when the cat's away, the mice can run around and play. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Oh, and however you're acting uh -oh. when the pastor is not there, yes, that's sir. the real you. Oh, say that. Yes, sir. Lord, help me. That's the real you. And there has to be some type of changes going on. Lord, help me today. Do you know that you're making your own beds? You get to the point to where you're making your own bed. You're making your own bed because everybody has 
Everybody has a calling, everybody has a gifting, everybody's called to this and called to that. But when it's your turn, how do you think people are going to act with you? If you don't pay tithes one day, you're going to start your church and you're going to want people to pay tithes. And your church is going to fold up. You ain't going to have a building. You ain't going to have this. You ain't going to have that. Because of the simple fact that you didn't do what was right in the first place. Sunday morning. Somebody say Sunday morning. Somebody ought to be able to shout off of this one. Hallelujah. Do you know you're making your own bed? By when you can't be faithful to your church and to your ministry? To Sunday school? <laughs> Did you say Sunday school, Brother Mark? Some of y'all wonder why you ain't got this and ain't got that. Don't know this, don't know that. But you won't come to Bible study. You won't come, you won't come to nothing unless you're doing something. And that's a problem. I'm telling you young folks, when you start something, don't start it and not finish it. Come on now. We got enough of that in here. We don't want to keep going with that. But if you start something, you carry that thing all the way out. Because we're trying to get somewhere. And, and God has set his approval, his anointing upon this ministry. Lord, help me. I'm not going to be long today. I'm already in trouble, Dad. You got my back. You won't be back. <laughs> I feel all right because Dad got my back. Hallelujah. But we have to get it right. Let's stop acting upon our emotions. Because some of us are not ready for leadership. They told me that in order to be a good leader, you have to first be what? A good follower. Come on, somebody. But if I tell some of you, we are going to Merle Haymore, follow me. Mother Turner, I'm going to go out here, I'm going to go on Douglas, and I'm going to go straight up Douglas, and some people are going to go up here and turn this way just so they can beat me there. They ain't catching it, are Come on, somebody. But what you going to do when you get there? Because God has not called you to leave. Oh, this is going over some heads right there. Hallelujah. But we need to get ourselves ready for leadership. Oh, Lord, help me today. This one just keep hitting me right here. It keep hitting me. I, I, I'm going to hit this a little bit, then I'm going to leave it alone. But we have to stop acting upon our emotions. Amen? Amen. Stop acting upon our emotions. Let's not let our circumstances, this is so old that God gave me, but I'm bringing it back. Let not our circumstances dictate our praise and our worship. Amen? Amen? It don't matter what you're going through and what you're dealing with. Come on, somebody. Because if we true Christians and true saints, we got sense enough to know that God is going to bring us out. Do anybody believe that? Do anybody believe that God brought you this far to leave you? Does anybody believe that God is not faithful and just to bring you out? Is there anybody in here that doesn't believe that God can make a way where there seems to be no way? Well, Matter of fact, you're in the right place because I'm going to teach you something. Come on. Teach. Hallelujah. But you have to get yourself ready for leadership. That's right. Because we're not going to be here all the time. Right. I don't hear nobody. That's right. The Lord gave me a word. And when he gave me a word, I went over and I spoke it. 
It was one of the hardest things I had to deliver, but Mother Betty Fountain, he gave me a word and told me, you go over there and you tell the church, amen, that it's time for them to stand on their own too. Said because she's not going to be here that much longer. I don't hear nobody. And when I spoke that and I told her, she stopped me from talking. She went downstairs and she came back up and she said, God gave you that word. And she began to teach the people and tell them it's time for y'all to stand on your own too. And then she got sick. And then she passed away a little bit after that. But glory to the Lamb of God, God gives us warning. Yes. And sometimes what we do, we take things for granted. We do not, amen, look at what we have before us. Yes. Jesus turned around and said, I'm going to leave from here. But in three days, that building that is destroyed, I'm going to raise it up again. I don't hear nobody. Uh -huh. Glory to the Lamb of God. But hallelujah, he said he was going to leave. And when he said he was going to leave, you heard the others turn around to the Carmen and they said, you ain't going nowhere. You can't do this and you're not doing that. Amen. And then Peter even rebuked Jesus. And the preacher on the other day, it, he reminded us that that's when Peter was even called the devil. He told Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. Amen. Because you're not doing nothing but messing with what God has in store for me. So what we have to do is get ourselves prepared because God has something in store for us. Amen. And if you don't do right, right here, when you go out there, right is not going to come to you because you're going to reap what you sow. I don't hear nobody. Amen. And that's for all of us to hear. Hallelujah to God. 
and, and you know, I give you a thing. I, I sat here and I just thought, and, and, and I'm going to explain this. You know, I just had to shout. I couldn't keep it. I, I had to shout and dance because I couldn't keep it to myself. God has blessed me, Mother. I'm telling you, I've been sick in my body. I've been down and I've been out. I've been going through this and going through that. But on the way out of town on the other day, we came that close to having a full head on collision. Hallelujah. But God. And when you're in a big 15-passenger van and you hit the brakes and you swerve, those things are liable to flip. But I don't hear nobody. I ended up going off to the side of the road. Oh, my God. And God kept us right there. Yeah. Somebody said he'll be your protection. All along the way. See, I, and I got happy because I know that y'all could have been prepared for a few Funerals, hallelujah. But oh, instead, we have a praise festival today. So I got a right to be excited. I got a right to be happy. Hallelujah. But because I'm not worried about me, but some of my kids, I don't know if they would have made it or not. What's going on? 
and you get up to sing, you need to say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, help me. Lord, for this moment, anoint me. I don't hear nobody. See, some folks have to do that. Some folks don't live safe all day and don't say about it. Oh, y'all don't hear me. But some of them come up in the church and argue all the way to church. Come on, somebody. And get up here and it's time to get in the choir. Come on. I I'm about to leave you today because you get on my nerves already. And I'm not going to sit around and wait for you. You and Riley, whatever. I don't hear nobody. Come on, somebody. I I'm about to leave you here. You, you want to fuss, you fuss by yourself. My Lord. Oh. Am I talking today? Today you talk. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to uh, ride in separate cars. You need to just wait. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I said it this morning. You said it this morning? Lord, help me today. Mm. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Hold. Oh. 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 Then get mad. End up at church late. Yep, she did. <laughs> Can I read quick? Hallelujah. Learn how to sit 